Ang kwetyo. Ang tunay yung brahma kah mato kay yung nakaan ay tiyiti sa mga ka. Ay nai ngay ni. Naka tang tumnuot ni daw yung po. Sa say. Sa so si. Nang mato daw yung. Đồng nàng xa phía nhà Ở chúng ta xong bắt đầu Vì thì cả chúng ta đồng nàng xa phía nhà Đã bây Nói mình nó cả Xong cả Vẫn to Cả tăng xong nốt đỉnh đau Chỉ bù xa xây Xô xị Xông chơi Thank you Mr. President Good afternoon Your Honours Good afternoon Council Good afternoon Madam Sa Siak we will resume at the same point where we uh, broke yesterday afternoon when you were telling us about your work at the printing office. You described for us some of the books that, that were being printed there and when you talked about the contents of those books, you said that some of the books um, were that able contained um, photographs of salt fields, uh, or rather women working in a salt field, and there will be a heading which um, uh, essentially talked about the, uh, the work that was being done in these, in these salt fields. Um, what I'd like to do is um, show you a document uh, which contains a photograph similar to that which you're describing. See if you can uh, recognize that for us. Your Honours, this is document E3 slash 752. It is a revolutionary male and female youths uh, magazine. Um, I have a hard copy for the witness, um, and with your permission, we can uh, give it to her, and then I'll read out the relevant ERNs, um, and we'll ask the witness whether she recognizes that particular document. សូមជួយនឹងលោកមេធាវីជាតិការពីក្តីលោកខាងសំផនសូមអរគុណលោកវិធានអំបាញ់មិញខ្ញុំបានស្ដាប់តំណាងអាយកការគាត់បានធ្
read for everyone else's benefit the ERNs. Uh, in Khmer, it is 0006386262. In French, 00525897. And in English, 00593566. Um, Madame Sassi, as you look at that photograph, is that the picture and the caption that you were? describing to us yesterday. ចាអឺសូមមេមតិសូមរោគលោកប្រធានសូមឆ្លើយបន្តចាជារូបភាពនេះគឺនាង <coughs> สภาได้ทางเนียงខ្ញុំបានបោះពុំប៉ុន្តែគាត់ថាមិនមានចំណងជើងអីនាង <coughs> And if you look at the, the first page, if you could uh, now um, look at the first page of that document um, and look at the heading of it. Um, in English, the title of the document is Revolutionary Male and Female Youth. Um, is that the title of documents, uh, or is it similar to the title of the documents or books that you were printing at the printing office? <laughs> គាត់បានអានចំណងជើងហើយគាត់បានចាំអត់ដឹងថាអ្វីដែរហើយបើសិនជាលោកសាព្រាចារ្យសួរសំនួននេះតទៀតមានមានន័យថាអាស៊ួ
you told us that you worked at the printing office in 1977, and this document is from September 1977. Um, the title in English uh, is Revolutionary Flag, Special Issue, September 1977. Is this one of the documents that you were uh, responsible for uh, assisting uh, with printing? ចាសំស្រោយនៅសំនួននេះអឺឆ្នាំ <coughs> Cho cam có về chờ, chờ ngày nào tiền tổng bòn chẳng về ở niềng nhóm niềng nhóm tới tiền tới ngày nào ở ở từ cấp bất nhóm ở bàn chạm. Thank you. Just one more question on the um, on the name of the document. Uh, you started working there in late September 1977. Uh, or rather, you said late 1977. Do you recall whether the title Revolutionary Flag um, appeared on the documents that you were printing or assisting um, after you joined that printing office? Very well. Moving on to um, your work um, at the Ministry of Propaganda. Um, you testified yesterday that in April 1975, as you um, arrived in Phnom Penh, your responsibilities were uh, to work in the arts section. Um, did those responsibilities change uh, at any time between April 1975 and late 1977 when you went to the printing office? <laughs> Sure. Um, after April 1975, what were your responsibilities at the Ministry of Propaganda before you went to the printing office? And just so I understand correctly, apart from singing and performing and undertaking artistic performances, you're telling us that you did not have any other responsibilities. Which radio broadcasts um, were you typing? លោកស្រីជួយវាអង់គ្លេសសម្រាប់ការផ្សាយវិទ្យុមួយណាដែរចាអើវាយអង់គ្លេសលេខនេះមិនមែននេះទេគាត់ថាវិទ្យុអ
bờ tây ná đây miền đây rừng chui như thế nhưng mình bán trăm thà bờ tây ná bờ tây ná hay chia tầm năng tẹt tông nâng cả nhà rồi thì phu ai anh ấy chia tầm năng mới tới chia tầm năng ăn trả chết luôn và nó vay bỏ chia phê xa khai và năng cha So do I take it that at this point, um, or rather I'll rephrase that, um, who was your um, immediate superior at this point? Who was the head of your section? And what about the section which um, was extracting and typing up the foreign news broadcasts? ຍົ້ມມັນສກອນພ្នែកເດ <coughs> Um, so could you tell us, um, once you uh, typed up these broadcasts, uh, who were they given to? Um, How often were these um, uh, extracts prepared and, and typed by you? How often was that done? Chẳng như thế, chúng ta tới mà tất miên mà đón, rưu bị đón luôn. Do you know, and please tell me if you don't, who decided which extracts or which broadcasts would be typed up by you? Was it a, a but it was a person different um, than Sal or the translator Pang who you mentioned? It was a different person. Was it? I'll move on in the interest of time. Um, were you ever nominated to um, any other any other departments, any other sections um, as, as part of the Ministry of Propaganda? Whether in Cambodia or elsewhere. My question was slightly different. Um, I was asking whether you were nominated um, to go to any other, other section.
thưa càng yên nơi con ông sọc hư môi cả giang mạch lộ Snap ở sân bàn Very well. Just in the interest of time, I will read a brief passage from your statement. Um, and this is uh, document E3-379, the relevant ERNs are in Khmer 00294810, French. Zero zero three eight five two eight six and English zero zero three two three 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 four. Um, it's a very brief uh, question and answer. Um, it was you stated. Um, there was another radio station in China. I was named to go to. And then question, how did you know? Answer, because I was named to go to, but I met my uncle, in brackets, husband, I no longer had to go. Um, is that a correct uh, summary of your statement, that you were named to go and work at the radio station in China, but you didn't go because you met your husband? ចាលោកសំនួរនេះខ្ញុំពីមុនមកខ្ញុំស្ដាប់បាន Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, it's not an um, issue of major importance. Um, so just to ensure that we understand fully, um, when was it that you met your husband or that you married? Thank you. Um, Returning to um, the work of your ministry uh, from 1975 to 1977, um, did Hunim continue to uh, work at the ministry as its chairman or as, as the minister for propaganda and information from 1975 to 1977? ចាពីចិត្តសិបប្រាំទៅចិត្តសិបប្រាំ <coughs> And you told us yesterday that um, Tiv Ol was an assistant um, to Hunim. Um, did he also continue to work uh, in the ministry uh, after 1975 until some later point in time? We'll come back to um, the events surrounding Hunim. Um, while we're discussing the ministry, uh, I'd like to look at the issue of broadcasts that um, were made by the ministry uh, during the period no, uh, from 1975 to 1979. Um, and you discussed yesterday um, 
In response to my colleagues' questions, some of the broadcasts you talked about um, broadcast on increasing production, self-reliance, the conflict with Vietnam. Um, could you could you expand for us a little bit on the broadcasts, um, particularly the ones dealing with production? Um, what was it that was being said on the radio? សបផ្សាយជំរុញអឺប្រជាជនដើម្បីអឺឲ្យធ្វើស្រាយដើម្បីយកផលឧបត្ថម្ភខ្លួនUm, and were there any broadcasts about the, the party lines, the lines of the Communist Party of Kampuchea? Let's take a look at um, your uh, interview with the co-investigating judges. Um, again, that's document E3-379. Um, this particular passage is at Khmer ERN 0029480678. French 00 and English 00323330. Um, and this is what you said. Question. There was, if there was a broadcast, would you give us some examples? Like what? Answer, like broadcast about the party line, that is building forces. When the lower forces were strong, the upper ones were not easily shaken to. Spoke about the construction of the canals, encouraging people, but did not speak about the shortcomings. Next question. What internal security issues were broadcast? Answer. They were broadcast about the defense of the country. Um, do you recall uh, saying this to the co-investigating judges, in particular the party line that when the lower forces were strong, the upper ones would not be shaken? Based on your work at the time, um, what did you understand that to mean? that the lower forces were to be strong so that the upper forces would not be shaken. ຈານຽງຂົມຍົນຖ້າສົມອັນນີ້ກະບາດທ່ານຝ່າຍທ່ານເຈີ້
Mr. President, um, the information that I'm asking the witness to give us is entirely within her knowledge. These were the broadcasts that she heard um, during the period she just described them, and I'm simply asking her what she understood them to mean. Um, that is not uh, asking for her opinion, it is simply asking her to explain to us how she understood these broadcasts given her work at the ministry. Um, and បាទស្ក្រីជំទាស់នឹងសម្អាងហេតុនៃស្រីជំទាស់មិនធំត្រប់អស់ញាប្រះអនុញ្ញាតហើយសាក់សេចឆ្លើយតបទៅនឹងច
Madam Sarsik, this is um, one of the documents that were um, discussed with you and that was uh, uh, that were read to you uh, by the investigators according to the record of um, interview. The relevant um, ERNs um, There is no, unfortunately no French translation, but in Khmer it is 0034, and in English 0024785. Um, it is entitled uh, Educational Program, Democratic Kampuchea's National Defense Situation from April 1977 to April 1978. Now, there was a paragraph of this in this document that was read to you by the, uh, by the investigators, um, which I wanted to um, discuss with you briefly. Um, and this passage is at Khmer ERN 0034547 and English ERN 0024786. For those looking at the English version, the paragraphs are numbered. This is paragraph number five. I'll read to you um, part of that passage, Madam Sarsik. The party instructed that we must try to destroy as many of the enemy as possible and to preserve our forces to the maximum. We were small in number and we had to attack a larger force. Therefore, we had to preserve our forces to the maximum and try to kill as many of the enemy as possible. This was our slogan. In terms of numbers, one of us had to kill 30 Vietnamese. If we could implement that plan, we would certainly win. Um, Madam Sarsik, do you recall um, hearing such broadcasts about one Khmer being um, able to kill 30 Vietnamese? Well, let's look at your statement again. Um, so that's document E3-379. The Khmer ERN is 0029481313. French ERN 0038520910. And English Having been read that paragraph, um, you were asked by the co-investigating or by the investigators, was this paragraph the party line? Answer, it was truly the line. According to my understanding, the term we refers to the senior leaders, among them Pol Pot and his deputies. Question, what is the meaning of the term smash? According to your view, what is the meaning of this propaganda term? Answer, the term smash, if it is for the people, it means to kill. If it is for material, it means to destroy. Is this an accurate statement of what you told the investigating judges about that paragraph? 
จนสนนี่เขบานพัดอยบอลปัตยกันทาเปนุกนงกาสเปจเปิลคลาปัตยเมียนกาไปเพียซาแต่ก็บันเจตไปนงตรังนังสัปดาห์สมอคุณแนวเอลนี่ผมมาตอนสมเจริญลูกไทรมีตัววิวิมิชูลพรีซิเดนต์ขอบคุณมากที่มาดูเมลิปาฮอลฉันขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ขอโทษที่ que l'on puisse lui rappeler la, pra... la phrase précédente à celle qui vient d'être citée par M. le coprocureur, puisque devant les couches d'instruction, elle a bien dit à la ligne précédente, à la page en français en URN, c'est le 00385209, que la phrase qui ne lui disait rien aujourd'hui ne lui disait rien non plus le jour de son entretien. Je pense que simplement pour... Par équité vis-à-vis -vis du témoin, c'est important de le préciser. Your Honours, I don't think that's a, a proper objection. Um, my learned friend is, is um, free to take these issues up in her, um, in her examination of the witness. The statement is lengthy. Um, I'm referring her to specific words that she's spoken. She's confirmed as being true. Uh, we, the, my learned friend is free to go to any other part of the statement that she wishes to elaborate on. Thank you, Your Honours. 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 Thank you. Now that passage um, discussed the conflict with Vietnam, and there was another aspect of. The broadcast relating to the Vietnamese that you discussed with the co-investigating judges, and this related to the broadcasting of confessions of Vietnamese prisoners. Madam Sasiak, do you recall? Those broadcasts, broadcasts containing confessions by Vietnamese prisoners. ចាំលោកខ្ញុំសុំឆ្លើយនៅសំណួរហ្នឹងគឺថាភ្នាក់ខ្ញុំបាននៅចាំខ្លះឧទាហរណ៍ថានៅសមរភូមិមួយមួយ
Do you know who decided to have these confessions played on radio? Um, were some these uh, broadcasts ever discussed at ministry meetings, at your work meetings, dealing with the daily work? ໃນក្នុងទីនោះ Let's return to your statement. Some new elements from the last three seconds. I e bay lu bay from P from one chicham lai balu straight as a chump. The relevance of the RNs here and the pet one. The Khmer zero zero two nine four eight one three bay bay French zero zero and so three eight five bay from bay one zero. And English, zero, zero, three, two, three, three, seven. Question. Some new. In brackets, no, no, investigators no, 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 comment. The witness was shown a confession entitled Report on the Confession of Private Chu Lee in the SRV Army who was assigned uh, to be a Julie secret agent here, broadcast uh, on 27th of March 1978 and the confession of former South Vietnamese uh, First uh, Lieutenant uh, Tak Van Tong who was captured in Prevang province on 14th February broadcast on the 10th of March 1978 and then you were asked are these examples of what you raised previously in relation to confessions? Answer, yes, they really did that in order to let the people know that the Vietnamese soldiers had been actually captured. Do you recall giving that answer to the investigators that the purpose of these broadcasts was to let people know that the Vietnamese soldiers had actually been captured? គេពិតជាចាប់បានហើយទៅហ៊ានវៀតណាមនោះមែនចាស់ក្នុង <coughs> Thank you. Now, when the broadcasts were played, um, do I understand it correctly that that it was the that, that one could hear the actual voice of the, of the prisoner speaking. Yes, indeed. Um, could one hear? The, the voice of the, the, of the prisoner, him or herself, apart perhaps from a translation. Could one hear the, the Vietnamese voice? Yes, 
chàng đặc trong sầm nô ní bản sơn thà bong pho na đại ban sấp bị chú co ai đừng lừa về đại ban sầm phì tại quan thà sấp chỉ phía xa ban sấp ban cha hay sầm lên đa men now I just want to clarify the issue of how these tapes were prepared um, because I think there's a slight um, uh, lack of clarity in your statement. Um, Could you confirm for us who it was that, that actually recorded the interview and brought the tapes to the Ministry of Propaganda? ສໍາເລງນັ້ນມົນນັ້ນບັນຊູນເຖົ້າ <coughs> As far as you recall, did anyone from uh, the Ministry of Propaganda um, go and assist with the, with the taping of the interviews? Um, Apart from their names, were there people from the Ministry of Propaganda? Uh, 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 And did you ever discuss with him or any of the other translators um, where they went to, to assist with the interviews? And do you know what happened to these soldiers after they gave their statements? They had statements. តែគាត់ថាអឺខ្ញុំបានសម្ភារនឹងនិយាយជាមួយ Moving on to a, another topic, when you were um, questioned by my colleague yesterday in relation to uh, some of the broadcasts, you mentioned the word vigilance, that people were uh, asked to maintain their vigilance um, in these radio broadcasts. Um, what did you understand that to mean, to be vigilant? លោកស្រីយល់ដូចម្ដេចដែលថាគេប្រកាសឲ្យមានការប្រុងប្រយ័ត្ននោះចានៅត្រង់នេះនាងខ្ញុំផ្លិចបាត់ហើយដឹងជ
I think it was a word you used yesterday. Yeah. Um, I can look for the relevant passage of the transcript. But the way it came through in English, certainly, was that people were asked to be vigilant. Do you recall saying that? And very well, in the interest of time, we'll move on. Um, and I'd like to discuss with you one specific broadcast. Um, now, you said to us that, um, and correct me if I'm summarizing your evidence incorrectly, that traveled with Tivol uh, to Phnom Penh at the same time as, as your unit, and that uh, during that period in transit, the uh, mobile radio unit continued to broadcast. And you also said to us that Hunim continued to work as chairman from that period in 1975 until sometime in 1976. Um, do I recall correctly your, am I summarizing correctly your, your statements on this topic? Yes, I do recall correctly Thank you. Now, what I'd like to do is um, show you another transcript which unfortunately is only available in English, um, but uh, in accordance with uh, directions of yesterday, I can perhaps read the relevant passages to the witness and, uh, and see if she recognizes them. The document number is E3 slash 118. It is a April 1975 issue of Fibis. Um, the first passage that I wish to refer to can be found at English ERN 00166996. And with your permission, Mr. President, I would read out a brief passage um, attributed to Hunim and see whether the witness recalls this particular broadcast. I will proceed slowly because I appreciate the interpreters will be um, interpreting simultaneously without the benefit of a, of a translation. Uh, Madam Sasik, this document, um, or rather this broadcast, um, starts as, fo as follows. Um, as I said, it's dated the 21st of April, 1975, um, indicates it was broadcast at 2205, meaning 10 o'clock at night. Um, and it begins as a statement by the Royal Government of the National Union of Cambodia, Minister of Information and Propaganda, Hunim. And the text, just one part of the text to see whether you Recall this, this statement made by him. Um, my homage to every venerable Buddhist monk, my respects to all brother countrymen, my respects to all beloved 
Cambodian People National Liberation Armed Forces combatants of both sexes and to cadre. And the next sentence states, after having fought valiantly for five years and one month under the most difficult circumstances and with a great spirit of sacrifice and the highest revolutionary heroism to crush the U.S. imperialist most ferocious and barbaric war of aggression and to overthrow the most traitorous, fascist, corrupt and contemptible Long Nol, Serik Matak, Son Yok Tan, Cheng Heng, In Tan, Long Boret, Sostene Fernandez, Click Click, the Cambodian Revolutionary Army and the great Cambodian people definitely liberated Phnom Penh on the 17th of April 1975. Madam Sikh, do you recall uh, this uh, public statement apparently issued by uh, Minister Nim? So when you told us yesterday that um, there was a broadcast about having defeated the imperialists, um, was that a different broadcast than the one that I've just read? Um, ចាប់ពេលដែលនិយមដោះទីក្រុងភ្នំពេញគឺខ្លឹមសារព្រះប្រហែលហើយនឹងសេរៀងនឹងតែគាត់ថាមកដឹងគេមិនដាក់យូអឺរេកគណៃសាមអូវ៉ើខុនតែតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាមតាម
bàn bắt bóng cầm lăng ở bàn lô hốt đọc xo chiêm thọc đằng hàm ngọt Lúc xe này chăm trong chẳng nói như thế Chai nhận xong chá lại là xâm nôn đi Các bất cứ nên nhóm mình bán xe đáp hai con mình bán tam tam Nhóm mình chăm to thì sao luôn Và xâm thì bán xe đáp ai bán chăm khá Well, turning to what you did listen to, um, Hello, some told you, oh, wait, no, you told us that um, the broadcast mentioned uh, liberation from the imperialists. Um, rather, the broadcast mentioned liberation from the imperialists. Um, what, else, what else do you remember? Who were the imperialists that were defeated by the military forces? ຈາກາປີສະໄໝນຸຍຶງລໍາດອກປີເອີ່ອລົນນອນໃຫ້ຈັກກະປົນຄືການນ້ອງຄືຖ້າຈັກກະປົນອາເມລິກັນນັ້